So, got the snacks, got my water, I have flashlights, have my hook, clean windshield, and a full tank of gas. So we are going back out to the same pygmy spot tonight. Um, I'm going solo this time. Um, Jack has uh, work tomorrow, and Josh is in Texas. So I'm gonna go see if I can't get on any snakes uh, on my own tonight, just because I need content. Um, also, I've been craving getting out to look for snakes, so, uh, yeah, I will see you when we get there, and hopefully I'll see you when we have a snake. Okay, I gotta be quick here. There's a snake on the road. I'm looking at it right now. It might be hit, but I gotta see what it is either way. This car's passing. It's a really busy road, so I'm sure it's probably dead. I barely saw it. Oh, it's a, well, okay. All right. <laughs> I'll video when I get in the car. So this is what was on the road. <laughs> it's a fake snake. Don't know what that would have been. <laughs> I was hoping Scarlet. <laughs> God, can't believe that. All right, I'm gonna get to the spot now. So you can't see me, but hopefully you can hear me. Um, tonight might be a good one. So I've already seen a total of four snakes. Uh, this road is super hard to stop on just cause there's a lot of hills. So I have to kind of like find an awkward spot to turn around and then Hopefully the snake is still there, but uh, um, one was a little plain belly water snake that got hit right in front of me. Um, another one was a rat snake that I unfortunately couldn't get video of because there was a car behind me. Um, and then the other two were copperheads that just got off of the road because they couldn't turn around fast enough. So hopefully once we get out to the actual spot, um, the snakes will be moving like this, but I'm trying to kind of hurry up and get out there without stopping too many times on this uh, hilly and curvy road so I can get to a, a road that's a little bit easier to pull off to side on so um, if I see anything else I'll let you know but if not then uh, hopefully we see snakes moving at the spot. It's been a pretty slow night. Um, we've seen, oh gosh this flashlight is awful, we've seen a whole bunch of copperheads a bunch alive, a bunch dead. But right here, I've already seen it and I already know what it is. Oh, right. That is a freshly hit pygmy rattlesnake that is still moving in the tail there, if you can see it. I mean, come on. It doesn't get any more fresh DOR than that. So I just realized that I was videoing in slow-mo, but it's been a pretty slow night. We've seen a bunch of copperheads, uh, some alive, some dead, none that I've got video of. Um, and we just came across this DOR pygmy rattlesnake. Real bummer, but uh, it's still moving too. But um, we're gonna get this thing off the road and keep cruising. I'm gonna give it until around 12-ish, uh, which is about another hour of herping. So hopefully we get something alive soon. Snake of the night backing up to it right now, right after that uh, king snake got off the road on me. There it is, looks like it's dead. Oh no. I don't want to 
to see a dead snake, but just don't let it be a pygmy. And it's a pygmy. No way. Oh. Gosh, okay. I'm gonna get it off the road. No way. It took a minute, but I just saw our next snake of the night. There it is right there. What are you? Oh my god. Holy. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a really good one. So this thing is unreal. I feel like I say it every time I find a big rattlesnake. This might be the nicest one that I've ever seen. So I'm crawling on my shirt here. Let's get it away. I mean, that thing is just gorgeous. Like, unreal gorgeous. And that orange and the dark contrast, it's just amazing. Like, and it's not very big. I mean, that's my size 12 shoe, which in comparison looks huge, but I mean, that snake is just so beautiful. It's so pretty. There's the comparison there. See, you see, it's crawling around the back, but yeah, I mean, this snake is. It definitely, definitely turned the night around. Um, and yeah, two DOR pygmies is not fun. And a king getting away from you is pretty bad too. But when you find a snake like this, man, it, it's just, it almost makes it all worth it. So right now I'm just coaxing the snake towards the road so I can get some pictures that I've really wanted to recreate. My first pig rattlesnake that I ever found at this spot, um, I took pictures on one of my cameras and they were some of, the, still some of my favorite pictures that I've ever taken of a snake. And I've always wanted to re recreate those. I don't have my camera with me, um, but I still think I get some pretty cool shots of uh of the snake on the road so i'm gonna get him on the road get a couple quick pictures and then bring him back to where i found him which is over that way past that stop sign and then uh get him on his way okay sorry about the probably awful video quality i have to video the rest of this on snapchat because i ran out of uh space on my phone but here's a wow here's another copperhead on the way home, uh, it is 1.08 in the morning. I just got done taking pictures of the uh, pygmy, pygmies. So I got some pictures of the dead, dead ones too, but uh, yeah, there's just a random copperhead in the road. Wouldn't expect it to be any other snake. Get out of here. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Okay. Well, he's off the road, so I didn't expect to see any more snakes. I thought that would be the end of the, uh, the uh, episode, but I guess if there's still snakes out, I'm going to keep showing them because why wouldn't I? Once again, I thought that was going to be the last snake of the night, but for some reason, there is yet another copperhead on the road. I mean, this is a, a minute 
past where we just saw the last one. What is going on right now? I wonder if he'll just go without trying to bite and be awful. Please. He has no traction. The road is too slick. I mean, the good news is it's one in the morning and there's no cars out to smash these snakes, but I also want to get home <laughs> and, and edit some of the pictures that I took and rewatch all this video. There he goes, off the road. Make sure he goes all the way. So, I'm not gonna be surprised, really, if we see another snake <laughs> before we get our last pass done. You know what? If I see one more snake, I'll make another pass. If not, I'm going home because it's late and I have things to do tomorrow. But I guess I can't complain too much. Well, what do you know? There is yet another snake on the road. It's a rat snake. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. What is going on right now? It's one in the morning. These snakes should not be out, but I made the deal. If I see one more snake, then I would do a, an, another pass. So I guess that means I'm gonna go ahead and do another pass. Oh, you gonna bite me? What's going on here? All right, let me get a hold on this guy. Oh, he bit my shoe. No need for that. Mm, don't bite me, don't bite me, don't bite me. All right, that's pretty cool. First time we've seen a, a rat snake on the channel. It's a little guy, a little sub-adult. Um, it's good to see a sizable, non-venomous snake. I really like holding snakes. Um, so to get to see one like this that I can hold and it's not a copperhead or a pygmy that I have to use a hook or a stick, uh, it, it's, it's a nice change of Nice change of, uh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but I'm gonna let this guy go in the direction he was facing and hopefully he's gonna stay off the road. I guess I'll get back to it, why not? So who would have guessed it, right? I was doing another pass, like I said I would. And uh, yeah, there's another copperhead. They just keep coming. I don't know, I, like I'm at a loss of words, honestly. It's, okay, stay off the road, bud. Okay. It is 1.30 in the morning, and snakes are still out here moving like this. That's, he's getting off the road. That is insane to me. I mean, I might as well just keep herping. Like, I don't, there's no consequences to being out here this late, so might as well just keep going. I'll let you know what else I find. This is literally a highway. I was doing 70, and I didn't see it at the last second and I hit it. But I'm literally on a highway where the speed limit is 65 miles per hour. On the way home, the snakes want me to stay out. I can't make it up. I don't know what to do. I would keep herping, but I'm tired and I'm hungry. I'm going home and they don't want me to. I have to come back out tomorrow night. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to finish the outro at my house so I'm not uh, videoing and driving. So I'll see you there. It is 2.31 in the morning. And I just got back from uh, finding all those snakes. It was a really good night. There were a lot of... dog like i was saying there uh were a lot of dors and um a lot of common snakes um i was thinking about all of it on the way back home in the car and i ended up with 17 copperheads um that of course was the most common snake of the night two ribbon snakes two rat snakes three pygmies which was awesome um, one king snake that got away from me, a uh, big Caligaster, which is the prairie king snake. Um, 
I feel like there was something else, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna hopefully put all that together and make that into a video. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy, and I think I might go back out tomorrow, um, depending on if I have any plans or not with some of my non-snake friends, but, um, I've not seen Jack in a minute, so, we'll see, um, if I don't get out tomorrow, I'm sure I'll be out again sometime this weekend, um, because I just love pygmy rattlesnakes, so, um, yeah, that is about it for this video.